What's going on guys? Nick here with Midway Trailers. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful 8x26 Wilson Foreman. As you can see up front here, we got the stainless steel nose with the name sign. We added extra lights to the top header and to the nose side. Underneath here, we got the spare tire on the bottom with the full width vents underneath. As we come down the side, we have the cattle style punch pattern with Two rows of lights, top and bottom, each corner post. We have the midship turn signals. We went with the 10K axles with aluminum rims. And what's neat underneath this is we went with the U-style cross members, kind of like the semi-pots would have. And then as we keep coming down the back here, we put extra lights in the rear corner post. And on the rear door, we went with the full swing with the outside slide. Now this trailer also has seven foot interior height. We have the stainless steel wear strip. We added an extra roller in the rolling door just for stability. As we come inside, we have the .125 flat floor. We have the reinforced bump rail, and then we have the slam latch in the door also. Now what's cool about this trailer is we put in two floating gates. One floating gate back here will go the length of the fender. That gets pins in here with four pins. As Anthony comes inside, we have the 40 inch inner swing and also the full swing on this one. Both of these gates are capable to swing. You can unlatch it from both sides with this little cutout here. Then we got the front floating gate and this one starts about 20 inches in front of the fender and goes all the way and pins in front of the trailer. We have six interior lights in this trailer, uh, three on both sides. Typically, that'll be about each of them. Then we also have the fold down nose gate. That's everything for this trailer. It's pretty specked out, decked out pretty good. If you have any questions, give me a call here at 419-394-4408. Thanks for watching.